Good day, this is Annabelle, and today we will discuss global e-business and collaboration. After reading this chapter, you will be able to answer the following questions. Our learning objectives. What are business processes? How are they related to information systems? How do systems serve the different management groups in a business? How do systems that link the enterprise improve organizational performance? Why are systems for collaboration and teamwork so important and what technologies do they use? What is the role of the information systems function in a business? In order to operate, businesses must deal with many different pieces of information about suppliers, customers, employees, invoices and payments, and of course their products and services. They must organize work activities that use this information to operate efficiently and enhance the overall performance of the firm. Information systems make it possible for firms to manage all their information, make better decisions, and improve the execution of their business processes. In order to a large extent, the performance of a business firm depends on how well its business processes are designed and coordinated. A company's business processes can be a source of competitive strength if they enable the company to innovate or to execute better than its rivals. Business processes can also be liabilities if they are based on outdated ways of working that impede organizational responsiveness and efficiency. To a large extent, the performance of a business firm Examples of functional business processes this is some typical business processes for each of the functional areas of business. It describes some typical business processes for each of the functional areas of business. Every business can be seen as a collection of business processes, some of which are part of larger encompassing processes. For instance, designing a new sailboat model, manufacturing components, assembling the finished boat, and revising the design and construction are all part of the overall production process. Many business processes are tied to a specific functional area. For example, the sales and marketing function is responsible for identifying customers, and the human resources function is responsible for hiring employees. How information technology improves business processes? Information systems automate many steps in business processes that were formerly performed manually, such as checking a client's credit, or generating an invoice and shipping order. But today, information technology can do much more. New technology can actually change the flow of information, making it possible for many more people to access and share information, replacing sequential steps with tasks that can be performed simultaneously, and eliminating delays in decision-making. New information technology frequently changes the way a business works and supports entirely new business models. Fulfilling a customer order involves a complex set of steps that requires the close coordination of the sales, accounting, and manufacturing functions. Now that you understand business processes, it is time to look more closely at how information systems support the business processes of a firm. Let us check types of information system. First is the executive support system. It serves as the strategic level of the organization. It provides top-level executive a readily accessible, interactive format to overview the entire organization's performance. Decision support systems help the strategic management staff, like senior officers, in making decisions. The system uses information, models, or analysis tools in order for managers to make simulations and predictions. For example, a five-year investment plan is a decision support system. Transaction processing systems serve the people in the operational level of an organization. They collect and store information about transactions and control in some aspects of transactions. A sale of an item in the store is an example of a transaction. 
management information systems, on the other hand serves as the management level of the organization. The system condenses and converts the TPS, that is transaction processing system data into information for the purpose of monitoring performance and managing the organization. Transactions that are recorded in the TPS are analyzed and reported by an MIS personnel. Getting all the different kinds of systems in a company to work together has proven a major challenge. Typically, corporations are put together both through normal and organic growth and through acquisition of smaller firms. Over a period of time, corporations end up with a collection of systems, most of them older, and face the challenge of getting them all to talk with one another and work together as one corporate system. There are several solutions to this problem. One solution is to implement enterprise applications, which are systems that span functional areas, focus on executing business processes across the business firm, and include all levels of management. Enterprise applications help businesses become more flexible and productive by coordinating their business processes more closely and integrating groups of processes, so they focus on efficient management of resources and customer service. Getting all the different so what is ERP? And how can it help your business? ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Companies have relied on it since the 90s to streamline processes and improve data visibility around finance project management and manufacturing. However, the cost of ownership began to climb significantly. An on-premise ERP couldn't keep up with modern security demands or technology trends, so ERP evolved to embrace the Internet with new features and functionality. Enter ERP Cloud, the cloud offers a more affordable alternative for ERP because it eliminates the need for software and hardware or additional IT staff. ERP Cloud enables organizations of all sizes and across all industries to make significant cost savings to improve business insight, enhance collaboration, and increase efficiency. ERP Cloud is built for the digital age, delivering on the promise of the end-to-end -end process visibility and speed at a lower cost. Supply chain management or SCM involves the planning and execution of processes required to convert raw materials into finished goods, including the procurement of materials, production, fulfillment, and support. The strains on the supply chain are many, and when not properly managed, can cripple a business, leaving it unable to produce goods or fulfill customer orders. Effective supply chain management provides visibility into inventory levels and detects potential disruptions along the supply chain, helping businesses meet demand, fulfill orders at the lowest cost possible and deliver a positive customer experience. Customer Relationship Management Software, better known as CRM involve the processes and practices for storing, organizing, automating, and synchronizing customer interaction data across sales, marketing, customer service, and technical support. The end goal, customer acquisition and customer satisfaction, retention, and growth. With a CRM system, organizations can optimize sales processes like quoting, opportunity management, cross-selling and upselling with sales force automation. Marketing can maximize campaigns through better targeting and analysis. Marketing automation features provide efficiencies and scalability. Customer support and services teams benefit by having complete insight into all the interactions a contact has across every channel and touch point. By using CRM software, companies can ultimately provide an excellent customer experience.
What is Knowledge Management System? A knowledge management system is any kind of IT system. It stores and retrieves knowledge to improve understanding collaboration and process alignment. Knowledge management systems can exist within organizations or teams but they can also be used to center anyone's knowledge base for users or customers. Knowledge management systems is a one of software. It is a subset of enterprise content management software which contains a range of software that specializes in the way information is collected stored and or accessed. The basic concept of knowledge management system is based on a range of practices used by an individual organization or a large corporation to identify, create, represent and rearrange and redistribute information for a range of purposes. Software that enables an information practice or range of practices at any part of the processes of information management, intranets and extranets, is an alternative tools for increasing integration and expediting the flow of information within the firm and with customers and suppliers. Intranets are simply internal company websites that are accessible only by employees. While extranets are company websites that are accessible to authorized vendors and suppliers, and often used to coordinate the movement of supplies to the firm's production apparatus. E-business, e-commerce, and e-government. Electronic business, or e-business, refers to the use of digital technology and the internet to execute the major business processes in the enterprise. E-business includes activities for the internal management of the firm and for coordination with suppliers and other business partners. It also includes electronic commerce or e-commerce. E-commerce is the part of e-business that deals with the buying and selling of goods and services over the internet. It also encompasses activities supporting those market transactions, such as advertising, marketing, customer support, security, delivery, and payment. The technologies associated with e-business have also brought about similar changes in the public sector. Governments on all levels are using internet technology to deliver information and services to citizens, employees, and businesses with which they work. E-government refers to the application of the internet and networking technologies to digitally enable government and public sector agencies' relationships with citizens, businesses, and other arms of government. Systems for Collaboration and Teamwork With all these systems and information, you might wonder how is it possible to make sense out of them. How do people working in firms pull it all together? work towards common goals, and coordinate plans and actions. Information systems can't make decisions, hire or fire people, sign contracts, agree on deals, or adjust the price of goods to the marketplace. In addition to the types of systems we have just described, businesses need special systems to support collaboration and teamwork. Collaboration and teamwork are more important today than ever for a variety of reasons. One is the changing nature of work. Second is the growth of professional work. Third is the changing organization of the firm. Fourth is the changing scope of the firm. Fifth is the emphasis on innovation. And last, the changing culture of work and business. Collaborative, team-oriented culture won't produce benefits if there are no information systems in place to enable collaboration. Currently, there are hundreds of tools designed to deal with the fact that, in order to succeed in our jobs, we are all dependent on one another, our fellow employees, customers, suppliers, and managers. Review Summary What are Business Processes? How are they related to information systems? A business process is a logically related set of activities that defines how specific business tasks are performed, and it represents a unique way in which an organization coordinates work, information, and knowledge. 
Managers need to pay attention to business processes because they determine how well the organization can execute its business, and they may be a source of strategic advantage. There are business processes specific to each of the major business functions, but many business processes are cross-functional. Information systems automate parts of business processes, and they can help organizations redesign and streamline these processes. Review Summary What? How do systems serve the different management groups in a business? Systems serving operational management are transaction processing systems, TPS, such as payroll or order processing, that track the flow of the daily routine transactions necessary to conduct business. Management Information Systems MIS, produce reports serving middle management by condensing information from TPS, and these are not highly analytical. Decision Support Systems DSS, support management decisions that are unique and rapidly changing using advanced analytical models. All these types of systems provide business intelligence that helps managers and enterprise employees make more informed decisions. These systems for business intelligence serve multiple levels of management and include Executive Support Systems ESS, for senior management that provide data in the form of graphs, charts, and dashboards delivered via portals using many sources of internal and external information. How do, how do systems that link the enterprise improve organizational performance? Enterprise applications are designed to coordinate multiple functions and business processes. Enterprise systems integrate the key internal business processes of a firm into a single software system to improve coordination and decision making. Supply chain management systems help the firm manage its relationship with suppliers to optimize the planning, sourcing, manufacturing, and delivery of products and services. Customer Relationship Management CRM, systems coordinate the business processes surrounding the firm's customers. Knowledge Management Systems enable firms to optimize the creation, sharing, and distribution of knowledge. Intranets and extranets are private corporate networks based on internet technology that assemble information from disparate systems. Extranets make portions of private corporate intranets available to outsiders. Why are systems for collaboration and teamwork so important and what technologies do they use? Collaboration is working with others to achieve shared and explicit goals. Collaboration and team work have become increasingly important in business because of globalization, the decentralization of decision-making, and growth in jobs where interaction is the primary value-adding activity. Collaboration is believed to enhance innovation, productivity, quality, and customer service. Effective collaboration today requires a supportive organizational culture as well as information systems and tools for collaborative work. Collaboration tools include email and instant messaging, wikis, video conferencing systems, virtual worlds, social networking systems, cell phones, and internet collaboration platforms such as Google Apps Sites, Microsoft SharePoint, and Lotus Notes. Is the role of the information systems function in a business? The information systems department is the formal organizational unit responsible for information technology services. It is responsible for maintaining the hardware, software, data storage, and networks that comprise the firm's IT infrastructure. The department consists of specialists, such as programmers, systems analysts, project leaders, and information systems managers, and is often headed by a CIO.